Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So this video is going to be a haul of a bunch of stuff that I recently purchased as well as a few PR items that I will leave for the end. I feel like I have a lot to talk about so let's just go ahead and jump on in. Alright, so first I want to talk about an indie brand that I recently purchased, a, well, almost everything that they came out with from. Um, they actually just launched, I think it was maybe last month. So this is Velavante Cosmetics and I have both of their pressed highlighting powders. These are mini highlighters and they're only like $5 each and then they have like 35% off sales all the time now. So this one is really, really beautiful. It has a blue shift and it is called Opal. And I don't know how to describe this, but like the texture of the formula, it's almost like a little bit thicker. And hopefully you guys can see it is really, really duochrome-y. It is very intense. And I think like, I feel like it's not intense enough for my um, highlight on my cheeks as much. I mean, it's okay, but it's not my favorite. However, I really, really like this shade and the other one for the inner corner of the eye. I think it is really, really a beautiful duochrome. So the other one is called Amethyst, and as you would guess, it is a purple duochrome. So here's what this one looks like. Again, same like thicker formula, which I really like. I feel like it feels really nice, and it is super, super intense and super purple. So there's the two pressed highlighters and then I also grabbed two of their liquid drops. Let me just shake these up real quick so you can see what they're supposed to look like. This one has like a sound in it so it feels like something's broken but I don't think anything is. I don't really know what it is but the first one is called, what shade is this? This is Delicate and I really like these. this one. It's really pretty. It has it kind of reminds me of a more liquidy version of the glitter drops from Cover FX. You guys can just see what that looks like and like I said more glittery it's like sparkly it is beautiful so that is delicate and then the other one is more of a duochrome and it's more of just like a glowy shade it's not quite well it's not it's not um um glittery the way the other one is the pink one is baby doll hopefully you guys can see well you probably can't that the gold one is really glittery and the pink one is more just the regular like I don't know how to describe it but I haven't had a chance to play with these a whole ton I did do baby doll on my cheeks and I thought it was pretty but it was kind of just more soft and it wasn't like a super intense highlighter so I'm still playing with these but I do really like the pressed ones and then they also included a little free gift in the order and these are just some like sugar scrub like lip scrubs and one I believe is vanilla if I remember correctly Oh yeah, that this one is peppermint, and it is very strong. It smells so good. And then the other one is vanilla, and it smells like you're baking. Like, it smells like pure vanilla. Now let's talk about some quick Sephora purchases. This first one is the Natasha Nona Super Glow. I grabbed this with a um, gift card. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I grabbed the shade Fair. And it's really, really like a super soft formula and it is very, very glowy. However, like for being a fair shade, I think it's a little bit um, not fair enough. Like when you look in the light, it looks fine. But then when you look back, it has a little bit of a deepness to it. So I think it's beautiful, but you definitely, if you have super fair skin and you want to try this highlighter, I definitely recommend like really buffing it into the skin blending a little bit more that way you don't get like a bronzy streak I do think it is really really beautiful though I think it looks amazing on the skin so I am glad that I picked it up and I feel like Natasha Nona everything I've well mostly everything yeah everything I bought from her I've liked but also I've researched everything I bought I didn't buy anything just like right off the bat it's pretty and I'm glad it's in my life the next thing I grabbed from Sephora I haven't even tried yet I grabbed this in store because this is the bite beauty French press lip gloss and I got the shade flat white I've been wanting these since they came out but I was kind of nervous to buy one because it's a coffee scent and I got the winky Lux coffee bronzer right here and this is the worst smell I like the product I actually have it as my bronzer today but it just smells like burnt burnt chocolate like burnt cocoa it does not smell good at all so I was really nervous about the bite ones but bite 
bite did it right. It smells so good. Like it just smells like straight up coffee. It smells delicious. I haven't tried it on, on the lips or anything yet. I really should soon. I just, I didn't even swatch it in store. I just wanted to smell it and I just figured I would go for the lightest shade because I don't know, I always go for the lightest gloss shade. And this is actually an Ulta purchase I totally forgot about that I haven't used or mentioned or anything. And this is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sand. I grabbed this during 21 Days of Beauty. I think it was the only, well, I did one order where I got a bunch of stuff for free, but this was towards the end and it was the only other order I made because um, the first one I used my points for. And it is a very, very light neutral shade. Um, very, very light nude. I'm sure it'll be a little bit darker on the lips, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. On, I don't I can't. It kind of looks pretty. I'm curious. We'll see if I like it or not. I just was feeling like the super nude nude. And I have like every, well not every, almost every dose of colored liquid, li dose of colors liquid lipstick. So I really wanted to have this one in my collection and try it out. And honestly, looking at it swatched out, I think I'm really, really going to like this. I actually have like a lot of Ulta things, but I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and whatever I see first, just grab. So this next thing is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter from Ulta. Um, and I actually got this for free. It was like a diamond perk or something. Any order that you made, um, you would get this for free. And it is the original Becca Primer. I love their um, first light, which I'm actually project panning and I have a backup. So I'm very, very excited to try this one. As soon as I finish the first light one, I will open this and give it a chance. But I was excited about it because it's like a $36 primer and I got it for free. Next, I made a glam light purchase for two of their more recent palettes. The first one is the Royalty palette, which is really beautiful, um, which is actually what I have on my eyes today. So it just looks like this and it has a really fun mix of colors. There's like some purples, some warm tones. This plum shade is really, really beautiful. This shade is beautiful. I don't think this is my favorite palette from them because there's a lot of different textures in here. And like um, one of my favorite shades actually is this one. It's a like topper shade and it's not super intense. It's kind of just like, um, like it's like a, like a really light duochrome and you can kind of like, I have this on my inner corner today, topped over the pink shade. And I think it's really beautiful um, in person. But like, for example, like this green one is a glitter. And then this purple one is a little bit more transparent. This purple one is like not as soft, but it's more opaque. So it's kind of going all over the place. But I do really like the mattes in here. So I'm glad I have it and I'm definitely enjoying it. But I wouldn't say it's my favorite palette from them. However, this next one I have not used yet. But just from swatching, I think it's going to be, well, actually, they're coming out with a colorful palette now, which I'm very excited about. But this one I really, really like. So this is the Alondra Desi palette, which is red velvet, um, and which seems beautiful, but I already have, like, makeup all over it, which is crazy. Um, there's a large mirror in here, and then the inside is basically all warm colors. Um, but I love their formula of, like, the really metallic shades so in this palette almost every single metallic shade is that formula that's like super super soft and rich and like wet looking on the eyes like seriously so pretty there are some very similar colors in this to their um uh, miracle palette so we probably don't need both but i do think these are really really beautiful and like swatches don't even do them justice it's just like the way that they look on your eyes jeez that was a horrible swatch. They're just like so pretty in person and wet looking and just amazing. We'll, we'll jump into this big old box in front of me, which is filled with things from different places. So first of all, from Ulta, I grabbed the Real Techniques Rebel Edge Trio. Um, I've been wanting to try these for a while and they look really cool. It kind of looks like a fan brush, but only like cut in half. And I haven't really seen anyone talk about these or any reviews. I just saw them on, um, I think it must have been a Real Techniques Live or something. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about it. So everyone has been talking about the Contrice um, Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray, which just looks like this. It is illuminating. And I've, I don't know, I've heard everyone talking about this. It's just shake before use. Um, and it has like 
it looks like small glitter in there so I'm not really sure but I've heard so many people say it's good that I hope it looks good on the skin but Catrice had buy one no buy two get one free and then they also I used my 20% off coupon code as well so I got three of them <laughs> because it was buy two get one free and I didn't really know what else to try from Catrice and I was just like I guess I'll just get setting spray so I don't know if I'll end up using them or putting using all of them or putting one in the one in the giveaway or what or if I really really love it we'll see I don't know I will keep you guys updated I thought about doing like a, a chatty get ready with me like trying new makeup and stuff like that which if you guys want to see I can do I just felt very tired so I just kind of got ready and just well I found like a quick tutorial for Instagram all right so next let's talk about a few things from pixie and I don't know what happened basically I saw online that you could get 20% off pixie which I already knew majority of the time and then they also had two like samples that you could try and one is their lip gloss in the shade honey sheen which looks so beautiful like looks right up my alley um so I was really excited about that let me just try it Ooh, it's minty okay well it kind of just looks like what I already had on my lips but I do have another gloss from them that I really like the one that um, they did with Chloe Morello but the one that really got me is this oh, is it's oh it's packaged okay well I'll play with it at a later date this is their um, peach uh, duo and my mom actually owns this I think she got an ipsy or something and every single time she's wearing it I'm like mom what highlight are you wearing and she's like it's the pixie one so when I saw that this was a free gift, I was like, I have to try it. I have to try it because my mom always wears this one and she always looks beautiful. I feel like my lighting looks really bright. There we go. Okay. So next from Pixie, I grabbed one of their matte last liquid lipsticks. I feel like I've heard a lot of people talking about these and I went ahead and grabbed the shade matte beige just because it was a nude and I just always go for nudes and all I have to can say is that this looks absolutely nothing like the way it did on the website I swear on the website it looked like a like really really like sandy color and this is like a pinky a pink nude so it looks completely different like crazy different let me just put it like right here yeah it's so much darker than I thought it was gonna be but it does look pretty I mean it's not like a dark shade and like it's just like a nude pinky natural shade so it's something I could definitely wear and I'll probably enjoy. So I'm curious to test out the formula. Like I said, I feel like I've heard good things. I Like I said, I don't know what came over me. I grabbed two of their glowy Gossamer Duos. Just looks like this. And everyone raved about these for a while. And I never picked them up because I thought that they were going to be too dark for me. And I still think that some of the shades might be. I'm actually going to, let me just swatch them real quick. Because I'm really, really curious. This first one is subtle sunrise i feel like each each of them kind of has a lighter shade and a darker shade and i wish that they would have done the lighter shades together and the darker shades together because it's just more you know easy Ooh, ooh, ooh. that one might still too, be too dark for me but that is really intense okay okay i'm i'm, I'm really hoping that these shades work for me because dang Hmm. We shall see. And then the next one here is Delicate Dew. Just looks like this. Ooh, that one's really pretty. That honestly looks so much like the Natasha Denona highlighter. Oh, that one's that one. That other one's probably too dark. Let's see. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, please let one of these. All I can say is that it was only twenty-two cents. <laughs> So this is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette and it was on the Ulta website. I got the coupon code for another 20% off and then what else What else did I have? Hmm. They sent out a thing that if you bought this palette you got like 500 bonus points and basically I ended up paying like 22 cents for this palette and then I got like f the 500 bonus points so that I'll get $20 off a future order. So this was extremely inexpensive and I just couldn't help myself. And the reason why is because even though this palette isn't the perfect Naked Cherry palette like I would want it to be, I I really like Urban Decay shadows. And every time I use like my Naked Heat palette, I always love the results. I mean, it's just a basic warm eye, which is like I could probably get from anything. But 
I really like. I feel like they're blendable and easy to use and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I love it or hate it or what. I really have to get it on my eyes and see. I definitely, even seeing it in person, I'm just like, I wish I could like put like a filter on this and just add like some exposure um, and some contrast because it's definitely a little bit bland, but I think, I think I could still do something pretty with this and we shall see. We shall see. Um, and the packaging. I just had to share this with you guys really quickly. On one of the Ulta orders that I made, they had um, a gift set for Becca. And it was like their weekly beauty break. And this was full size. This is the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir. This is like $46 or something like that. And they had the full size for free in the set. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think the thing that I'm most excited about in this haul is definitely the things I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm not going to swatch them or do a whole lot. Actually, I might swatch one thing. But I grabbed a few different items from Beauty Bakery because I've always wanted to try them. And they are in Ulta now, so I think I might do a video like trying out Beauty Bakery. I just have a few different things. I grabbed their liquid lipstick in the shade Ginger. Uh, or no, Ginger Snap. Ooh, how do I open this? Okay. Um, and the reason why is because they have a lot of li liquid lipstick shades. I was overwhelmed, but this is the one I remember hearing people talk about and say that it was their favorite, that they bought backups and everything like that. So this is Ginger Snap and I'm going to try it very soon. I also got the Cake Pop Lippy, um, which this packaging is super cute, but also very light. It feels like nothing's even in here, honestly. This is supposed to be a full-size lipstick, and I think it was like $14 or something like that, and it is literally so tiny. It's the size of a sample lipstick. You guys see that? Like, there, it's, it's, it's a sample size for $14. The packaging is so cute, but that's crazy. Just to give you guys an example, I pulled out my Bite Beauty lipstick. There's literally three times as much product in the Bite lipstick than the, ba in the, than the Bakery Beauty. The Beauty Bakery, jeez. That is so tiny. Oh my gosh, I'm so disappointed. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go through a full lipstick, but still, it's like, I don't want to have to apply like a tiny little, tiny little sample lipstick, you know what I mean? I also went ahead and grabbed their flower setting powder in the lightest, I think it was just like the shade Translucent. This is super cute, so I'm excited to try that. I've heard so many good things. And then probably the most exciting thing is their Milk and Honey palette, which just looks like this. Um, the, sl the sleeve on this is so cute. Like, I want to keep the sleeve. I never keep sleeves, but that one is just adorable. So here's what it looks like. And I bought this one because I think that most of the shades are going to work for me. Um, a lot of things in their brand, like their blushes and like their face palettes and stuff, I feel like would be too dark for me, which is fine. I'm, I'm not the core audience here, but when I saw this one, I thought, you know, that I feel like I could use that. So this pink shade here called Oh Honey is absolutely stunning. I haven't used it on the cheeks yet, but it is beautiful. And then there's this lighter one called Spoiler Alert. So I think those two I can 100% use on my cheeks. And then this one is Be Sweet, which is like the orangey golden shade right here. And it actually swatches a lot lighter than it looks in the pan. So I think I might be able to use that one. The only one I know I can't use is Queen Being. Which actually, I kind of like that shade name. Um, I learned, I went to a zoo this past summer. And I learned a lot about Queen Bees and all the different crazy stuff um, that goes on. And it's just, it, it's very interesting to learn about Queen Bees. So I'm just throwing that out there. But those are the shades. So... Honestly, I feel like I could use almost everything in this highlighter palette, so I'm very excited about it. Like, oh, that pink shade just speaks to my heart. So next, I just thought I would mention really quickly, I got, like, one of these sample bags, which, you know, I normally don't go through, like, on camera or anything, because it's normally just, you know, it's a bunch of samples. Sometimes there's things I really want to try, but I went through this when I first got the package, and I literally wanted to throw up. You guys know, well, if you've been on my channel before, how I say, like, I don't like the idea of, like, like, I don't know, like when people try to sell vitamins or teas or just weird random stuff and it's like supposed to make your body better and I just don't think it will. Well, this is in my thing and I think it's full size. It says drink me and it says skincare starts with a sip and it's gold collagen and you're supposed to drink it. Ugh. No, I would rather die than drink this. I don't know why, but that just looks disgusting. 
I wish that they'd not said that to me. Ugh, it just like gives me like the eebie-jeebies. So next I grabbed the uh, Juvia's Place Afrique lipstick, liquid lipstick, and the reason why, oh, the packaging is so pretty. Um, I just haven't tried any of their liquid lipsticks yet, and I wanted to give it a chance. I think that I've heard that these don't dry down all the way, but I just figured I'd give it a chance. And like I said, this is the shade Afrique. It says it's a matte, and it looks like a true red shade. And I also grabbed the Lime Crime Wet Cherry. Um, I think this is like a lip gloss, yes. And I got the shade Naked Cherry when these came out. Um, I was not at, not at that time buying Lime Crime, but I remember watching a video on them, and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, that looks so nice. Why can't I? I can never open anything. Okay. So, here's what it looks like. Oh, that's a pretty shade. And I think it's just supposed to be, like, a super glossy. Oh, it's, like, a big dove. Big applicator, like, the um, uh, Fenty Beauty one. It smells very, very sweet. So, there's what that looks like. I feel like that is really glossy, really pretty, right up my alley. Next, I grabbed the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Passion for Color Palette. I haven't been 100% impressed with the Makeup Revolution eyeshadows, but I just saw this one, and it was so inexpensive. Why can't I open this either? <laughs> it's so inexpensive, and I had the 20% off, so I think I got this palette for like $5. So I'm like, hey, if you can get like a good like color palette for $5, like you can't beat that. So here is what the inside looks like and there's just like a lot of jewel tones here let me just okay hmm. kind of feels like you have to dig a little bit in these shadows but they look pretty good there's only two matte shades here and they're both just like these warm warm shades right here if you can see those um, but the jewel tones look really pretty the next few things I'm just going to mention pretty briefly, and I want you guys to let me know if you want to see a full video on them. So first off, I grabbed some new shades or shadows from Divina Cosmetics. Just looks like this. Um, I owned two in here previously. I had this one right here. No, this one right here. I think this might be LMF L L M A O. And then also I had this one called Candy, but the rest are new. And they're really, really beautiful. I got the Dirty, Dirty, Beautiful collection or something along those lines. And then some really fun mattes. Like this mat right here is the most beautiful thing ever. Let me tell you guys the color. Because you'll die. It's Courtney. And it is the most stunning dirty green shade. Jeez. Do you not die? Like that is everything. I grabbed some shadows from Mater Makeup Labs just looks like this. I feel like they have some really cool colors. Some are swatched better than others, some don't. This one right here broke and I tried to repress it and now it's like literally like I can't get anything from it, um, which kind of sucks. There's a yellow. You know, it's like it's okay, but it's it's not like super opaque. Well, that one looks pretty good. Um, let me do a different one. Um, like for example here, we'll do a purple. Why are they swatching so good right now? I swear to you guys, I swatched these before and they were not that great. Okay. For Okay, so here, like, for example, this yellow one right here, I'll just, you know, I'll go really hard, right? And that's all I get from it. So some of them feel really good. Like I said, this pink one right here is extremely soft and buttery and, like, electric pink. And then the, some of the other ones are just, like, you know, they're nothing in comparison. Like, that, that pink is crazy. I grabbed a little sample, but I didn't think... Okay, basically, it's a little sample. It is called the shade Valium, and I thought it was a really pretty, like, orangey nude shade. Um, you can see how tiny it is. It was, like, $3, so I'm not, like, super complaining, but it is the tiniest, tiniest little sample ever. Um, I think I might be able to get, like, literally maybe, like, one use out of this lipstick shade. Um, so I wish I would have just gone ahead and bought the full size because the sample is so, so, so tiny. It looks bigger on the website, so. I grabbed those, so let me know if you guys want to see more on that. And then I also grabbed the Morphe 39A. I've been wanting this for the longest, longest, longest time. And I have just not allowed myself to buy it because I thought I didn't need it. And I still think I don't need it. 
but it is really beautiful. I love the colors in here. I love the sections. There's a lot of browns. Like, these browns in the middle are so unnecessary. Some of them are swatched so similarly. But, like, this corner here, this corner, I feel like the corners right there just feel so nice. Like, the shades are beautiful. And I think the quality so far feels really good. Like, the pigment is crazy. Um, I feel like you could dupe almost the entire Milk Cosmetics Gemini palette out of here minus two shades like you do have some really cool interesting greens so so far I think this is absolutely stunning I haven't used it yet because I had to take the time I had to repress this blue shade that broke but I think it's really beautiful and it's I feel like it's a huge palette but also at the same time it feels very thin and sleek and it feels so much nicer than their like um, plastic palettes. I prefer cardboard 100%. So next I just have my little palette here which is actually not so little and it's all like different indie brands together. It's, it's, it's a little bit crazy but I wanted to mention specifically um, here what did I want to mention I think well here we'll start off with the shades over here. So the ones right here making this L is all from Cleonade Cosmetics. Cleonade? Cleonade? I can't remember. But they're all different like duochrome shades. And here I'll just swatch three of them really quickly. I don't think the duochrome is super um, intense. But they do feel really, really nice and beautiful. And I'm very tempted to get their Palio and Archeo palettes which are restocking yesterday as of the time you're seeing this video. So there's some of the shades. They're pretty. I have to get them on my eyes here. I'll do this other one. I think this is like crystalline or something and that one's really pretty. And then there's this one which is, looks gray in the pan but it has like a green undertone. So there's all those shades. Very, very beautiful. If you can see the square pans, those are all from Love Lux Beauty. I grabbed three shades there. These are their pressed pigments, I believe. And they are really, really pigmented, really intense. So here, I'll just show you real quick. This one, it doesn't look like, it doesn't, I thought when I got it, I was like, I can't really see the duochrome that much. But when I actually put it on my eyes, you can see the duochrome so much. And then you've got like this really pretty orange shade called October. And then here's a like rose gold shade, which this one, I can't see the duochrome at all. I think that one was supposed to be a duochrome shade, but this purple one is beautiful. So I'm here talking about Love Looks Beauty. I also grabbed two of their highlighters. I actually already bought two more of these. I really like the Love Looks Beauty highlighter formula. This first one I haven't used yet. This is Melted Pearl. And it is a... Oh gosh, I did it again. I swear the little things that she puts in here look just like it's an... Like that looks like a highlighter. It's, it's a puff. I did that with the Melted Coconut. Um, but this is Melted Pearl. I don't think it's Melted Coconut. It's Coconut something. But her highlighters, you can see it looks a little more chunky. It, there's like a little bit more thickness to them. Kind of similar to the eyeshadow formula. I got, I picked up too much on that swatch. But you can see, like it's just like super, super intense. But the other one, um, Pumpkin Coconut. This one is beautiful. If you don't like glitter in your highlighter, don't recommend this at all. It def definitely has some glitter in it. But... It smells really good. It smells like pumpkin coconut and they do have an unscented version in case you don't like scents. But this one is like such a pretty mixture of like white and like a like peachy shade. Um, so I feel like it ends up being pretty perfect for my skin tone. It's pretty light. So there is pumpkin coconut. One last brand I wanted to mention really quickly that I grabbed a few things from is this little corner right here. And this is from Kitten. Kitten Boss Cosmetics. I just grabbed three shades because I wasn't, I was kind of overwhelmed by their eyeshadows and they all look beautiful. Um, again, haven't used these on the eyes yet. I literally got these in the mail like two days ago. So this first one is called Eat Grass and there's actually a little kitten, um, kitten like swatched in there or pressed in there, which is really cute. So there is Eat Grass. It's a really pretty green shade. And then I also grabbed this orange, which is called Nine Lives. <laughs> I really love all the different names. It feels pretty soft and pigmented. So there is Nine Lives. And then the last one that I grabbed, you can get this in a much bigger form, or you can get it in the eyeshadow size. This is called Rhinestone Color. This is 
so beautiful it's crazy um so it's kind of like a like highlighting shade but it's got like it's a little bit more chunky and it's got like flecks of glitter in it and it's supposed to be like transparent underneath i think it's supposed to be like a highlighter topper or something along those lines which i don't know if i would use this particular shade as a highlighter um but i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see hopefully you can see the glitter in that it is so beautiful this shade topped on your inner corner highlighter is absolutely stunning it looks like instant like glitter like you really tried but it's actually held together really well so it doesn't create a ton of fallout or anything so i really really like that shade and i'm so glad i caught it but we are almost done with the stuff that i bought real quick i purchased a liquid lipstick from citrul citrul cosmetics i'm not sure how to truly sure I'm not sure how to say it, but this is the shade Honeycomb. I just thought this was a beautiful shade. It was on Etsy, and I don't know anything about the formula or anything. Oh, I'm getting that line. Um, but it was like $11, and they had free shipping on, you know, any purchase. So I just went ahead and got it, and I think that it looks really pretty. I don't know if it's going to dry down or anything. It just has like a little wand applicator. Oh, that's very pigmented. It's a little bit more on the liquidy side. Hmm. So there's the shade. It just looks like a really pretty mustard brown, which I'm kind of into for the lips. Um, so I guess we'll see. I've never ever heard anyone talk about this brand. Very, very small. So really quickly, I have been absolutely 100% obsessed with the Pink Lightning Highlighter from Sydney Grace Cosmetics. This is so beautiful. And the reason I really love this highlighter is because it has like a little bit more of like a thickness to it. It's a loose highlighter, but it is absolutely beautiful. Like I can't get enough of this. It's definitely a favorite. I was going to put it in my october favorites but october is already gone and i am the worst at doing favorites monthly so hopefully i do a new november favorites and talk about it then but seriously obsessed with that so i went ahead and asked them um i asked sydney grace like what other shadows they would recommend for fair skin and these are the two recommendations that they gave me they said arctic moon they will leave a work and then radiant glow they thought might work so i just went ahead and purchased both of them let me just pop this little tab off real quick so here is arctic moon it's kind of like um more of a cool tone shade but it actually has just a tiny bit of pink undertone to it and then like i said the other one is radiant glow and this one looks a little bit more golden so here's what radiant glow looks like it looks like a pretty gold shade like it looks true gold so here's what that looks like I will definitely have to try it out and see if it's a little bit too dark for me. It looks a little bit darker than the golds I normally go for, but I'm definitely 100% willing to give it a chance. So I'm excited to have more shades. I think that they're all beautiful. And Pink Lightning's, I feel like Pink Lightning's still going to stay my absolute favorite, but Arctic Moon looks really beautiful. All right, so now let's just go ahead and dive on into the things that were sent to me for PR. Um, which I'm completely grateful for, but always going to give you guys my honest opinion. Some of these I've tried already, some of these I haven't. So first off, we're going to talk about a few different things that I got from Actoli, which is just like an online free store. If you have, you know, a YouTube channel and a certain amount of subscribers, you can go on there and you can basically um, put your order in and brands will decide if they want to accept or deny. And the thing with Octoli is that there's a lot of really good makeup on there. But a lot of it is not cruelty free. Like I see like Guerlain, YSL, um, who else have I seen? Like, like just different like really bougie brands, but they're like not cruelty free. Oh, I see Lancome a lot. Um, so, you know, I don't obviously try to get any of those because they're not cruelty free. But I saw Kevin Aquan pop up on the shop and I was very excited because I love Kevin Aquan's product that I've tried so far. And Kevin Aquan is cruelty free. So I was really, really grateful that they accepted my orders for the different Kevin Aquan products. So the first one is the Neo Highlighter. And this is just one of their, like, really fancy, let me pull it out, really fancy, and a little Steve. That's when you know it's a little bit bougie. Here is what it looks like. And it is just, you know, a highlighter. And on one side, I think it goes from, like, candlelight to what? Oh, it doesn't say on here. It's called Sahara Golden Rose Glow. But I think on on um, Sephora, I saw the shades that it goes to. So I'm not sure if, like, the deeper side is going to work for me as much. Yeah, I'm not sure. That might... I'm, I feel like I could use that side as more of a bronzer. 
because I like a satin bronzer and they're not like, it's not a super intense highlighter. Yeah, actually, I think, honestly, this I feel like I could mix and use as bronzer. Where's my bronzer brush real quick? All right, we'll do a quick little mix. Yep, I would totally use that as bronzer. I love a good satin bronzer, so that works for me. That's pretty. So I was excited to try that out. I actually have, um, which one do I have already? I have a blush from them in this packaging, but I don't know where I put it at this current moment, but it is really beautiful, and I think I'm definitely going to enjoy that as a bronzer. The other product is the Kevin Aquan Expert Mascara, and I'm honestly so interested in this mascara because it's pretty expensive. It's the shade Black, and it's just like a regular looking mascara, <laughs> and let me sh show you guys what it looks like. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a little curved wand to it. That looks really interesting. It doesn't look like there's too much product coming off on the wand, which bugs me because I don't have that many lashes. So when there's too much product, it like clumps my lashes right away. So I'm very, very curious to try that out. So thank you to Kevin Aquan for sending those my way. And I also was sent from Octoli the number seven high shine lip gloss. And I got the shade, what shade are you? Naturally Nude. And I wore this yesterday, I think, and it's really pretty. It's like a peachy nude, and you guys can see it obviously has some pigment to it. Um, but it's one of those glosses that looks like really, really glossy. Hopefully you can tell. I'm curious to go check their website and see if they have any lighter shades, because I feel like this is still a little bit deep for me but it is really beautiful like the formula is beautiful it's comfortable it's very very glossy um so i do really like this i'll just throw it on i literally have like six lip products on right now but that's okay next really quickly from octoli i have a few different hair things to talk about um which is a little bit different for me but if you know me at all, this won't come as a surprise, at least the first thing. So this is the Invisibobble Scrunchie. It just looks like this, and it is a scrunchie with the Invisibobble in it. And I was very excited about this, and I wanted to use it. Like, as soon as I got in the mail, I started using it, and I've been using the one for a week now. And this is what it looks like because I broke it. <laughs> I have a lot of hair, and it's very thick, and I made the mistake... Um, I don't know I stretched it too far or something but I broke it and it made the bobble like expand like it's not as like thin as it was before I can still use this 100% I just have to take a, like the extra time to do another fold um so I would keep that in mind but I am liking this a lot I feel like it really holds your hair in place especially like I said if you have thick hair heavy hair having that like bobble inside I've never used the regular bobble but I feel like it really does keep everything in place um, and it doesn't move around a lot so to show you really quickly because they sent me like the um what's I don't know what the name of this one is but it's the cheetah print one and then the regular black one and you can see you can see how I messed up <laughs> honestly it was my fault I think I stretched it too much on accident but I feel like it's really nice it, gets, it does what you need to do and it also still looks like I'm not gonna put my hair up because I took the time to curl it but it still looks like a very cute scrunchie I love scrunchies I've been wearing them basically all my life whenever I was younger I used to get made fun of for wearing scrunchies um and now they're back in style so been here been doing it for a long time so I I do like these a lot and I personally if you like a scrunchie and you like it to stay where it is I would recommend those and then last but not least, <laughs> this is the Nume 25mm Classic Wand in the shade Turquoise. And I was interested in this for one because I've always heard good things about Nume. Um, I also know that they are completely cruelty free. And what was the other thing? I think that they said that the, I think it might be the Tourmaline Infused Ceramic Barrel is supposed to not damage your hair as much, which I never use heat on my hair partly because I'm just super lazy, but also I don't want to damage it. Um, so I liked the claims on it. And also it has a, um, like as you know, like the, the cord swivels 
um, and it doesn't stay in place you can literally just put it in circles which is really nice for moving around and everything so if you guys can't tell probably can't because my hair is so long I curled my hair today it's already falling a little bit flat because I just have very heavy hair and I really need to um, cut it the thing is like on top it kind of looks like waves but then when you get to the actual bottom it's like the cute little curls they're kind of crazy now because I'm ridiculous um, I feel like it didn't take that long to curl my hair with this honestly it really didn't take I think maybe 30 minutes and I have a lot of hair and it just gave me like you know just like a really soft wave so like I said my hair is already falling flat I just have very very long hair very thick hair so um, I think it's probably a pretty good wand. I just, I didn't curl my hair for that long either. Like whenever I put the strands up, I didn't do that small. I didn't hold it for that long. I was just doing the lazy curl. So, so far I do like it. I really like the swivel. I think it's easy to use. It also came with like, um, the glove for your hand so you don't burn yourself. I did not burn myself once. So, so far it's been a good experience. So, like I said, I got all those products I just talked about from Octoli. Um, so those are my honest thoughts so far i have a few more things to mention but my camera is dying and i honestly don't have time to recharge it so i think that's going to be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye